Before this video, I just wanted to tell you that this is this was just a cool adventure I wanted to share and it might not be like my usual very deep content but I hope you enjoy it anyways. It's it's fun. I like the shots. I like the the stuff. So enjoy. Um also, I'm in a new place. I'm uh, you you can't see much. It's a wall. I'm in a I'm in a different place now. I'm in a different country. Check out this standing desk. Enjoy the video. <laughs> Today we are exploring Swamp. I've collected a bunch of new gear over the past few months. Today I'm gonna try to put it all to the test in nature, specifically in swamps. Very beautiful, very nice. I'm gonna test out the new Mini 3 Pro drone. I'm saving that for the evening. And we're testing this all out, recording it on the Lumix S5 with the 24 to 105 lens. Just just random tires in the swamp. Look at the look at the green parts. Look at the water. It's not even What color is that water? This is a pretty good example of the color science you can expect from this camera. Damn. This is just regular color correction from vlog to rec 709 and this is when I apply some grading to it I believe this camera holds the dynamic range very well even if you do very simple color grading to it it's only now that I adjusted the volume of the microphone and we might have clipped previously so um, let's just re-record everything Mmm, nice! <laughs> <laughs> Testing the stabilization of the Lumix S5. I'm walking, not even ninja walking. I'm saying it's doing a pretty good job. For most people, what really takes away from using a camera and the experience of taking photos and videos is the autofocus. And this camera had a lot of backlash from people because the autofocus wasn't excellent. It still uses the uh, contrast-based autofocus instead of something like phase detect autofocus, which the newer model does have. So how bad actually is the autofocus? We're gonna focus in the distance, not gonna press anything. I'm gonna moving, move it to the tree, it's in focus. Back to the distance, takes a little bit of time. Back to the tree, back to the distance, back to the tree. And I'm not pressing anything, it's doing it on its own. And it's focusing very accurately and smoothly, which I really, really like. Most camera systems have an issue with uh, focusing very rapidly. And I don't know, for me, it creates a very digital experience. I like smooth transitions. And what this camera does well, a smooth focusing transition. So, we came across a junkyard. What's happening? It's pretty junky. All right. <laughs> From a washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> this place has some pretty sick graffitis. Check this out. Pretty interesting place. Just had my first like real test with the uh, the Mini 3 Pro drone. It flies well. It was actually quite a bit quite a bit more powerful. We have arrived at Temeru Nationales Parks. Yeah. Also known as the place where I get very sick drone shots. 
my new gimbal. I'm gonna put my camera on it later. We'll see how it stabilizes the footage. How was your day, man? It's pretty good, man. Pretty tired. How'd you like the swamps? Pretty swampy. <laughs> but beautiful. We have some chairs. We can sit down and talk about today. Let's do it. Let's do it. What's going on? What you feeling right now? Feeling some peace. Some good, well-deserved long anticipated peace it's it's such a good feeling when you finally get some sort of freedom after a long like working period you know yeah definitely it's um it's just something that you kind of you know that this freedom is gonna come but sometimes you get to be more patient and without patience i feel like things go wrong so it, i don't think it's bad to take things slowly I think when you try to rush things, that's when you kind of either you get bur burnt out from everything, you don't spend enough time with other people or relationships, or you don't focus on everything you should be focused on that could be important for you, you know? Like life happens outside of your home, outside of your comfort zone. And I, I, I want to encourage people to do that and find their hobbies, stories, uh, people, friends, anything. Well, my plan is to kind of become more and more okay with myself in general because that's what has disturbed my peace in all the ways. Whether it is, I don't know, sometimes you just start thinking about random things that doesn't, don't matter, like the way you look or the way you act around people. But sometimes it's okay to be yourself. You just do whatever, fuck it. Doesn't matter. Yeah, fuck yeah just little steps every day.